a chapter a day to brighten your way. Mighty warrior Gideon, 300 is enough. Hello friends, let us read the Bible together. Today we'll be reading Judges chapter 7. When Gideon understood God's will, he started taking action. Gideon began by tearing down the local idols and was now preparing to assemble an army to attack the Midianites and save Israel from their suffering. We will see that God was always by Gideon's side. Even the best soldiers in Gideon's camp were chosen by God for Israel. Because they had such small numbers, we can feel God's power through this underdog situation. Let's read chapter 7 together. Judges, chapter 7. Then Jerubel, that is Gideon, and all the people who were with him rose early and encamped beside the spring of Herod. And the camp of Midian was north of them by the hill of Morah in the valley. The Lord said to Gideon, The people with you are too many for me to give the Midianites into their hand, lest Israel boast over me, saying, My own hand has saved me. Now therefore proclaim in the ears of the people, saying, Whoever is fearful and trembling, let him return home and hurry away from Mount Gilead. Then twenty-two thousand of the people returned, and ten thousand remained. And the Lord said to Gideon, The people are still too many. Take them down to the water, and I will test them for you there. And any one of whom I say to you, This one shall go with you, shall go with you. And any one of whom I say to you, This one shall not go with you, shall not go. So he brought the people down to the water, and the Lord said to Gideon, Every one who laps the water with his tongue as a dog laps, he shall set by himself. Likewise, every one who kneels down to drink. And the number of those who lapped, putting their hands to their mouths, was three hundred men. But all the rest of the people knelt down to drink water. And the Lord said to Gideon, With the three hundred men who lapped, I will save you and give the Midianites into your hand and let all the others go, every man to his home. So the people took provisions in their hands and their trumpets, and he sent all the rest of Israel every man to his tent, but retained the three hundred men, and the camp of Midian was below him in the valley. That same night the Lord said to him, Arise, go down against the camp, for I have given it into your hand. But if you are afraid to go down, go down to the camp with Pura your servant and you shall hear what they say, and afterward your hands shall be strengthened to go down against the camp. Then he went down with Pura his servant to the outposts of the armed men who were in the camp. And the Midianites and the Amalekites and all the people of the east lay along the valley like locusts in abundance, and their camels were without number, as the sand that is on the seashore in abundance. When Gideon came, behold, a man was telling a dream to his comrade, and he said, Behold, I dreamed a dream, and behold, a cake of barley bread tumbled into the camp of Midian and came to the tent and struck it so that it fell and turned it upside down, so that the tent lay flat. And his comrade answered, This is no other than the sword of Gideon, the son of Joash, a man of Israel. God has given into his hand Midian and all the camp. As soon as Gideon heard the telling of the dream and its interpretation, he worshipped. And he returned to the camp of Israel and said, Arise, for the Lord has given the host of Midian into your hand. And he divided the three hundred men into three companies and put trumpets into the hands of all of them and empty jars with torches inside the jars. And he said to them, Look at me and do likewise. When I come to the outskirts of the camp, do as I do. When I blow the trumpet, I and all who are with me, then blow the trumpets also on every side of all the camp and shout, For the Lord and for Gideon. So Gideon and the hundred men who were with him came to the outskirts of the camp at the beginning of the middle watch, when they had just set the watch. And they blew the trumpets and smashed the jars that were in their hands. Then the three companies blew the trumpets and broke the jars. They held in their left hands the torches, and in their right hands the trumpets to blow. And they cried out, A sword for the Lord and for Gideon! Every man stood in his place around the camp, and all the army ran. They cried out and fled. 
when they blew the three hundred trumpets, the Lord set every man's sword against his comrade and against all the army. And the army fled as far as Beth Shittah toward Zerara, as far as the border of Abel Mehola by Tabath. And the men of Israel were called out from Naphtali and from Asher and from all Manasseh, and they pursued after Midian. Gideon sent messengers throughout all the hill country of Ephraim, saying, Come down against the Midianites, and capture the waters against them, as far as beth Bara and also the Jordan. So all the men of Ephraim were called out, and they captured the waters as far as beth Bara and also the Jordan. And they captured the two princes of Midian, Oreb and Zeeb. They killed Oreb at the rock of Oreb, and Zeeb they killed at the winepress of Zeeb. Then they pursued Midian, and they brought the heads of Oreb and Zeeb to Gideon across the Jordan. According to many biblical scholars, God chose those lapped water from their hands because this small gesture showed that they were still alert and ready to respond even when they were resting and drinking water. These 300 elite soldiers obeyed Gideon's tactics and completed this mission together. Praise be to God, this battle was truly incredible. In the end, Gideon and his soldiers defeated the Midianites without even taking out their swords thanks to God's help. I believe that in this battle, Gideon and the Israelites realized they won because they relied on God, not because of their own intelligence, talent, or force. Dear friends, as long as we rely wholeheartedly on God, we can overcome the difficulties in our lives under God's guidance. No matter how big or difficult the problem is, it's just a small matter with God by our side. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for always being with me and helping me. Like Gideon, I will rely on your power to overcome the many difficulties in my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A chapter a day to brighten your way. See you tomorrow. Jesus loves you and I love you too.